on this week's Talking with Topher. So I know if you go to watch this and then all of a sudden it disappears, go watch it on Rumble. Yeah, uh, 100% go Rumble. 100% Rumble. Rumble's yeah. the way to go. Rumble yeah. is the way to go. Well, getting back to on topic to the... Oh, I hope people don't mind our ADHD going, but um. <laughs> that's what this—that's what this podcast is, bro. Oh, I know. I'm all but over the, the two place. Two of us are ridiculous. And now let's get into episode 185. What is happening, TWT fans? It is so good to be back on this October 19th, 2023. And of course, I'm so glad to have you all back here with me. Uh, we are going to get into this week's podcast very quickly. But first, I do have to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing so much. It really does keep the podcast afloat. Of course, uh, if you're new to the podcast, swinging by, stopping by, checking it out, whatever you're doing, hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free for you, um, and it just keeps me coming back week after week. Of course, if you want to be able to tell your story or be a guest on this podcast, you need to send out an email to the official email of the podcast, T-A-L-K-I-N Wittofer at gmail.com. And then, of course, the link tree is where you can find everything, T-W-T. It's just that easy. So you click the link tree. It's got all the social media and all the available platforms that Talking With Topher is on. Um, so go ahead and click that. And then, of course, go ahead and copy it and share it with everybody. All right. And let's get into today's podcast with my guest, Michael Firth. <laughs> What's happening, brother? What's, What's up, happening? Brother? What's up? Thanks for uh, having me on again. Oh, uh, no. Thank you for coming on again. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> so I hear we got some wild stuff to walk through. Yeah, you know, I thought we could start off with uh, some of the crazy rumblings on the internet lately. Some weird conspiracies and weird crap people are talking about that I, I, some of it even makes me go, what the hell's wrong with you people? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, you know. If you want to bring up that first picture we were talking about, supposedly India just landed a shuttle on the moon. Now, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I, I think that looks like a second graders class project. I believe I made that project in second grade. I think you might have because it, uh, it's, it's like a cartoon drawing that someone did on their computer 20 years ago. Again, I, so pathetic. What, one of the things that bothers me about these pictures from yeah. space is who mounted the camera on the moon. Oh, yeah. To take this picture oh, yeah. as it's landing. Absolutely. That's the, that's the biggest thing for me. Kind, it's kind of like when Neil Armstrong right. jumped off first, first man yes. on the moon. Yes, that camera was already planted on the moon and it was recording him. Oh, yeah. So yeah. It, it, that's, that's my first thing. It's like, oh, how yeah. did you get this? This is it landing on the moon. Well, how? That's, that's because, you know, the Neil Armstrong moon landing was filmed at, uh, you know, Area 51. Right. Because we never landed on the moon. No. No, no, I don't. No. I don't think we did, and I don't believe that this thing did either. No, because this thing is pretty janky. I mean, come on, look at it. It's like something you do in like Photoshop or whatever on your computer with basic bullshit. It doesn't look like anything <laughs> impressive at all, honestly. No. Looking at it, and I'm like looking at this center thing. The center thing has my mind blown because it's all, it's all beaten up. It's yeah. all beaten up. It's yeah. crooked. Yeah. Um, it looks like it looks like the uh, first yeah. season of South Park. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right? that's good. Well, they had like paper, yes. paper cutouts for the characters and stuff instead of yes. cartoons. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. agree with that a thousand percent. It's it's uh, yeah, pe pe people just you know the crazy the crazy stuff we see on the internet. So so supposedly they're the first ones to land on the moon since since us since us right according according to them yeah yeah okay because so. I know that what was it the was it China. That tried to land on the moon recently, and all they did was like hit the moon with their with their rocket, and it exploded. And then all of a sudden, like a week later, these guys landed on the moon. And I was like, "Oh, okay, so everybody's trying to get there now." Yeah, and, uh, well, they want to jump in on the on the bullshit uh, wagon there, but uh, well, there was somebody else that found movement 
on the moon's surface. Yeah. Yeah, underneath the moon's surface, they found movement. And I can't remember, I can't remember which country it was, but it, it could be these guys with this thing landing. Supposedly, it was taking uh, uh, whatever of the, of the moon itself, and mm. below the surface, there was movement. Mm. And I don't know what that means or how they find that under the table where they put this. I, I project think so. <laughs> I just don't. I don't see it being uh, no. true at all. No, it's the crazy things people bring up. But uh, we go out of this to the other. Yeah, sure. Pictures. You want? Let's see. Go to uh, ten. This one makes me laugh because I know we talked about this before. Get yourself a girl that holds you like Justin Trudeau's mom holds Fidel Castro. Uh, what? Yeah, isn't that creepy? Kind of makes you wonder if that's actually his dad. <laughs> I mean, the face is... Remarkably uh, exactly alike. Whoa. Isn't that creepy? Whoa. And she was down there quite a bit. Really? Oh, yeah. So it is possible that Justin Trudeau's father is Fidel Castro? A thousand percent, yeah. Now, now where's Fidel Castro's body? I honestly don't know. Because, I, I mean, that's some DNA. We should be pulling and figuring this out. Yeah, yeah. If his body exists, or maybe they threw it in the ocean like they did Osama bin Laden, mm. which I still don't believe. <laughs> no, that absolutely didn't happen either. I don't it's, believe. I don't, I don't well, believe that. I'll tell you what, you can take that and segue right into the... Uh, <laughs> go, go, let's go back out of this. I mean, yeah, we, yeah, know, yeah. we know we just had 9-11, so go to the yeah, C8. Oh. You know, bad operator. Never forget, you know, the Twin Towers, but, you know, Tower 7. Let's not talk about Tower 7. Well, we never want to forget about, I mean, which, we always want to forget about Tower which 7. Which they clearly <laughs> used explosives to take down because, you know, that's where they were investigating the $6 trillion that was missing a, a, a day before 9 11. Right. They came into Congress and said, you know, we're doing some accounting and uh, the $6 trillion missing. Where is this money? It's insane. Where is it? And literally the next day this happened. That was the building that was investigating it. And the accounting office at the Pentagon was also investigating it. Guess where that plane... It hit? landed right there. Yeah, the plane, a missile, Whatever, most yeah. likely, hit that exact section of the Pentagon. Right, and then all the paperwork was destroyed. Everything about it was destroyed. You never heard another word about six trillion missing dollars. Well, no, they found it. They just gave it to Ukraine. You didn't hear? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear? Oh, please! That was six, that, that was six. That was billion six dollars. billion dollars. Yes, they yeah. just well, actually, it's, it's more like two hundred billion. That they well, that was Ukraine. interesting over yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, I was just listening to Joe Rogan. He had Tulsi Gabbard and uh, BJ Penn, one of the best jujitsu guys. I've oh ever my God! Seen. Yeah. Hawaiian native, he was just, um, they were just on there and they were talking about, you know, the Heiner and all that stuff. But um, they were actually saying too, um, I was reading about that in the place. They were talking about how in that place in Lahaina, which obviously is a massive tragedy with all the fires. and I everything. mean, yes. It's, it's crazy. Actually, bring up that picture um, for before and after. Uh, this one down here. So you had, supposedly, if you zoom in on that picture, uh -huh. no, it's kind of blurry, but it is. Yeah, but you can get the gist of it. Oh yeah, you had you had what they called wildfires going through there, but there's so many weird things that go with it that that they were talking about on Rogan. Basically, they, the mayor was uh, wasn't in town. Okay. Right. Their emergency management director was not in town. They're at some conference uh, yep. on another island or something. And the police chief was supposedly was out of town at the time as well. Okay. okay. Right. The mayor actually didn't even come out and talk to anyone on the, on the, uh, the news or, or anything for like nine days yep. after the fires. Yep. Nine days. Nine days. A long and, time. And when he was asked about it, he, they said, who was in charge? Because we know your emergency management director wasn't here. Right. Who was in charge of everything going on during the wildfires? And the mayor actually said, I don't know. Really? It, he said, I don't know. I don't know. I his, don't know. That is, not, answer, that is not a good answer. No, it's ridiculous. That's awful. It's ridiculous. Never mind the fact that, like, you know, they're like, oh, we're going to give every person that survives 700 bucks. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, please. Dude. Yeah. yeah. 700. Now, so we were just talking about Ukraine. 
there was an accounting error recently where they said we had an accounting error. We just realized we have another almost $6 billion we can send to Ukraine that we didn't think we had. Right. Now, mind you, the amount of total damages, if you were to completely rebuild Lahaina the way it was, was under $6 billion. I do believe it was 1.4. No, no, no. It was like 5.8 or something. Oh, 5.8. It was just under yeah. 6. So the point is, that, that was less. accounting error that you were going to send more money to Ukraine. Yeah. You could literally rebuild all of Lahaina, give these people back their homes and things like that. The yes. ones who survived it. Yep. But there's, no, we're going to give a one-time payment of $700 to these people. Which was, I mean, that's half of what they gave us during the pandemic. Yeah. The, well, the, the head of FEMA is the one who came out and said it. We're going to give a one-time payment of $700 because somebody came in a conference and asked them about it. It's like the FEMA workers that are there, I, I, I saw in a, uh, another video, some guy's been down there. He's like from there, and he's been doing lots of videos on it. He says that the FEMA workers are staying in two hotels in Lahaina that are $1,000 a night for a room and $1,500 a night for a room. Hmm. And they have a couple hundred so-called FEMA workers down there staying in these two ho- hotels. Every night for that kind oh. of money. Oh, that's nice. How about you take the people that are no longer have homes yeah, and, and put them in those hotels. Right. And let them stay there until, God forbid, you guys come off your asses and start fixing things. Oh, I, I, honestly, I think FEMA is kind of crooked as well. A hundred percent it is. You know? hundred percent it is. Um, yeah, I, I actually have seen it firsthand. But, I mean, the, the point is it's, it's, it's really bad. Yeah, I believe that. You know, the other things in there, too... Um, you talk about weird things. They have uh, John Pelletier is their their uh, their police chief. You go down. Yep. Back, get back to that. Right here, this guy right here. Um, oh, that keeps coming back. So John Pelletier is the police chief there. Now here's a guy who was born in Buffalo, New York, born and raised. Was then a police captain in Vegas during the shootings in Vegas. Okay. He was the incident commander there. And then somehow magically becomes the police chief and also the coroner in Lahaina. Really? So he was there for the, one of the biggest mass shootings we've had in over 100 years. And now he's there for the largest wildfire, supposedly, we've ever had in well over 100 years. Yep. Kind of interesting. That's weird. The guy wasn't from either place. He's also the first police chief ever in the history of Hawaii that wasn't born in Hawaii. Really? The only one. That's kind of weird. That is weird. But to have been at both the biggest mass shooting and now the biggest so-called wildfire is kind of creepy, you know? And considering that, even though they say he wasn't there, police were telling people, go back to your homes, you can't go past this point, you can't leave, and blocking people in where the fires were raging. And there was actually some video I'd seen. I wish I had gotten you know, the link. But there was a, a video I saw where some guy went and actually took bolt cutters and cut open a fence with a lock on it to get people out of the area where the fires were. And there was like a line of like 100-something cars coming through this gate to get away from where the fires were because the police were bro- blocking the roads to get out of where the fires were raging. So, in a sense, blockading them in so they would all perish so that there yeah. was nobody to claim the property, land, or anything Absolutely. else. Absolutely. Because what their initial point of doing mm-hmm. that, they, what they're going to do with this land is steal it from everybody. Well, that's what they've been trying to do. Definitely. Uh, you've got, uh, like, the BlackRock people have been trying uh, to buy Black this Rock land. Oh, BlackRock is fucking awful. It, yeah, if you guys don't know, they're probably the most ridiculous com- company that nobody's ever heard of. They own more land and and things than any other company in, mm-hmm. the, in the United States. And a lot of times they're using taxpayer funds to buy these lands. Oh, yeah. It's it's insane. It's so criminal. They're stealing everything. It's well, I mean, the, the, the housing market around here today, if you put your house up for sale today, mm-hmm. BlackRock's buying it. Oh, yeah, that's where the cash the is coming from, and they're and they're paying fifty, sixty thousand dollars over asking over price asking price. To Why? Make sure they get Why? It. Because they want to turn us into renters. Yes, they want to turn us into uh, relying on them mm-hmm. and not owning. Mm-hmm. They want to take the American dream away from you, mm-hmm. and they want to make it so that nobody owns anything anymore. Oh, yeah, and oh, that's yeah. what's going on. Every house yeah. that you see up for sale and then sold. 
going way over asking price mm -hmm. is all BlackRock. Even oh. around here in Manchester, everywhere. everywhere. Most of the houses that have sold on my street yep. are all renters now. Mm -hmm. They're not owners that are moving in. They're renters. Talk about, to, to stay on the topic of, of BlackRock, East Palestine, where they had the train derailment, derailment yes. with all the stuff. Yes. They're, they're, they've been trying to buy up land in that area before that, and now since they've been buying up everything in that area. Supposedly, they want to build a microchip manufacturing plant with a where the rivers combine right there because they can use the rivers to cool the machinery and whatnot. Okay. And they also own the railroad that that uh, that uh, train accident happened that really saw those chemicals. Well, that makes me question a few things because I already heard that when they tested the land, right, mm -hmm. to see if it was going to be toxic, they tested it at a depth where it wasn't toxic, mm -hmm. but they did they weren't coming back. So you have to yeah. test that that land over and over and over again yeah. because it keeps seeping into the land. They tested it, told everybody they can move back. It's nice and yeah. safe, but they haven't tested it again. No. They're not going to test it again. Yeah. And they're going to, they're literally poisoning those people so that they die, mm -hmm. perish, whatever. And then they can come in and Take steal it. it. Yeah. Joe Rogan and tell us who it's this is, this is, yeah. this is fucking no. far from conspiracy. Oh no. You know this what is, I mean? This is, this, this is, is facts. facts. I mean, you know, people call us conspiracy. Conspiracy theorists, but I hate we're, that word. We're, we're truth seekers is what we really are. Yeah, because you know we've been lied to so much in our lives that we say, "I just want to know what the real, real story is." That's all I, I want to know. Really going on. I mean, we could, we could sit here and joke about the fake stuff all the time. Yeah, you know of I course. Mean? Like uh, back out of this one. Yep. You know, if you go to uh, four, four, you know, somebody somebody posted this, and I, I honestly chuckled a bit because. They're trying to say that uh, Joe Biden is somebody wearing a mask. But, I mean, this looks Photoshopped to me like crazy. But, you know, somebody's trying to say it's a guy wearing a mask. It's not really Joe Biden. And Yes, yes, I've seen that, too. They show know, the back of the neck, and yeah. it crinkles a certain way, and they're like, oh, it's somebody yeah. wearing a mask. It's not really him. You know, I mean, there's another conspiracy out there. They show, But, I mean... Yeah, that looks Photoshop. That this is so a fake. Photoshop for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, so did they Photoshop the mask on his face? I think they just they put in a little thing there to make it look like he's wearing a mask or something. Huh. But, I mean, it's funny. Like, if you're going to talk about a conspiracy with this guy, there's other people who believe Joe Biden was replaced like 10 years ago with a lookalike. Oh. And if you look at it, like, they'll show, like, his ears before and now are completely different and, like... Really? You know, things like that. And people say he was replaced... By someone huh. else, which again, I don't know if it's true or not. I think he just got older and looks a little. It's weird there. how they show this side of him yep. here, but and then, then the it's reversed, yeah. and then we're zooming in on oh, yeah. the possible. Again, um, this is some crazy Photoshop. thing somebody came up with. Like, oh, whatever. But if you back out of this too, um, to go kind of with, uh, go up to six. So there's there's another one where people were talking about uh, Paul from the. From the Beatles, and going back to the ear thing, look how different those ears are. Oh, yeah. So people are saying they replaced Paul because Paul got in a bad car accident early on with the Beatles, and supposedly he was talking about leaving the Beatles or something and going out on his own or whatever. And they were, you know, kind of too big to fail at the time. Really? So some people think they actually killed Paul and replaced him with this other guy, which, I mean, Look at how different those ears are. It's kind of weird. Yeah, but, you know, it, but I don't know. Like, I, I see that they are different. I'm not, argu different. I'm not arguing yeah. that. It just bothers me that we have a full picture here, nice and clear, yeah, and, and this is only on, like yeah. a quarter. You know what I mean? No, like, I know. It, again, this is just one of those weird No, no, no. It's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I don't just, know what it, I think about it, but strange. I mean. <sighs> strange. I really do stuff. think. I really do think a lot of this stuff is very plausible but at the same time it's like man that's a lot of fucking work oh yeah you know oh, yeah. it's like faking faking the moon landing and stuff like that it's so much work to do that it's, yeah you know what i, I mean think, but yeah, i know but, we had to win the cold war or well, whatever that's what it was all about it was like try to get the russians to spend all their money to beat us in a race to the moon knowing that they can't get there and then laughing as they destroy their economy to do it right right you know so, I mean, really is a genius idea when you think about that, but it also, I think, has a much darker, you know, yeah, ending with that. But 
This October, are you ready to add a splash of fun and style to your wardrobe? Look no further than slowdownclothing.bigcartel.com. That's right. Don't forget to put in promo code T-O-P-H-E-R to get an extra 10% off your entire purchase. Introducing Slow Down Clothing, the ultimate destination for the whole family to express their unique personalities and embrace the joy of slowing down. From quirky and amusing designs for the young ones to sophisticated and expressive tees for the adults, Slow Down Clothing has something for everyone. Embrace the thrill of the ride with our high-quality skateboards and gloves, carefully designed to bring you both style and protection. Whether you're splashing in the waves or lounging under the sun, our comfortable swimming shorts and soft beach towels are perfect companions for those summer days spent by the water slow down clothing is more than just a clothing company it's a lifestyle it encourages you to appreciate the simple moments find joy in everyday experiences and savor the beauty of life slow down and create lasting memories with slow down clothing Visit slowdownclothing.bigcartel.com today to explore our wide range of stylish and comfortable apparel from kids' shirts to women's leggings, skateboards, gloves, swimming shorts, beach towels, and so much more. Slow down and embrace the fun and style with slowdownclothing.bigcartel.com. Also, put in promo code T-O-P-H-E-R before you check out for that extra 10% off your entire purchase because... Life is meant to be enjoyed one moment at a time. Well, you know what? Let's go back to let's go back to talking about Hawaii a little bit. All right, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, so you had the police chief who was there, who was also in Vegas, and he's also the coroner, which okay. is so weird. There's actually yep. lots of video of him saying, Yeah, you know, I'm also the coroner and this and that. But now as the coroner, he's asking people if you're related to people that were in Lahaina to come down and give a DNA sample so they can try to match you up with some of the bodies of the people, the deceased people that they have, because they're so destroyed that they can't identify most of the bodies. That sounds kind of creepy to me. That's weird. You know what I mean? Like, it's very creepy. Yeah, I mean, there's no dental. There's nothing. That That's what I'm saying. Like, is like, it that bad that they're burned that badly that... You know, I mean, I've seen I've, more than my fair share of dead bodies I'm, at fires. I was going to say would think that most of the time if you it's got a something fire, you could do dental if you needed to and, and probably figure it out. But that gets into the, the more crazy of the conspiracy theories when it comes to Lahaina. Did they actually use direct energy weapons well, to see. destroy this area, killing these people because they wanted to take this land so badly? So, so. That's the laser, right? Yes. That's the laser. So what is the one, and I don't want to get too far off track, but I mm-hmm. just need to remember, what is the one that causes the vibrations? That that sounds like more of an EM weapon. Okay, okay. Electromagnetic field Electri- weapons. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah. So this one that we're talking about right now is the D-O-W? D-E-W. D-E-W, Direct okay, okay. So I did a little bit of a dive on this because I, I saw that and I was like, ah, it's kind of crazy, like... You know, I you know I wonder if we do have direct energy weapons in our military. We probably do, if that's really a thing. Right. You know, so I did some research. There are two military bases: one that more designs the weapons and things. Okay. And there's another one that actually has them on um, drones and planes and things that actually deploys them. Yep. Now the one that develops them, from what I've read online on their own websites, uh, in New Mexico, okay, is the one that designs them and does that and whatnot. Now, the one that actually has them on drones and things like that and deploys them is in Maui. Shut up. Seriously. It's in Maui. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, you, I know you probably, if you looked into this at all, you've probably seen some some pictures of, like, the trees aren't burnt at all. The, those were and, debunked. Yeah. Because a lot of those trees, and I... I, 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 well, I I've I, seen video of guys rolling down the street and showing you the trees that are fine, and then right across the street, everything's burnt to the ground. Yeah, but you know a, I mean? lo- a lot of those videos that came out at that time, because this was a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. They, August 8th, I think that was the yeah, fire started. But the the pictures were of trees that weren't there. 
That was the weird thing. I mean, I've seen video was, of guys rolling down the streets. I'm not Lahaina saying that. Like, it, but, I, I don't know if I've yeah. seen that one per yeah. se, but there was another one, and it was like air footage, and they were showing yeah. the burnt and not burnt yeah. and all this. And then you like I'm sure focus in on the yeah. trees, and you're there's like, wait a minute. There's plenty of tons of stuff that's fake on there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. You have to dig through, and for me, I like to look at videos of people actually there that live there and that they're you know trying to show you what's really going right. on. Right, that's different. And, like, when the mayor had his first little uh, press conference and stuff and people were trying to film it, like, and he was, like, saying supposedly, like, uh, yeah, you're not allowed to film. Nobody's allowed to film this, this and that. And people were like, uh, it's First Amendment, buddy. And he's like, it, that's suspended right now. We're not, we're not doing that. We're not allowing that. We're trying what do you to mean you're not allowing it? It's a fucking fire, dude. I can film it if I want. But that's the thing. They what are we hiding? People, they don't want people to know what's going on. Exactly. And, it, it honestly, do you know... Some of the people who bought the most land in that area over the last, like, 10 years have been just buying up every piece of land that they can. You got Jeff Bezos, the yep. former Amazon um, I'm sure CEO. Bill Gates is on that list. I don't know. I haven't seen anything about really? Gates on there. Wow. But, uh, Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg, Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison, and PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel, and uh, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey? Oprah Winfrey has bought over, I, I want to say they said it was like $150 million worth of land in Maui alone. What? Yeah. She's buying up farmland and stuff like that. It's it's crazy. That's fucking it's insane. Crazy. Now, from what I've been able to research, they all own big houses on Maui, that island, and none of them have had any damage whatsoever. And they all hired security protective forces to defend their their homes from anyone else trying to come and loot them or burn down their house or do anything to their homes. Yeah. Now, there's also the conspiracy that some people say, and I don't know if this is true because I, I wasn't able to research, find anything on it, but people are saying that they, they put a special paint on the roofs of their mansions on Maui. It's like a blue paint. Huh? Because supposedly the special blue paint the direct energy weapons won't burn if it hits this blue color. Won't burn. And they were showing it. There was a, a thing on Twitter I saw, or X or whatever the hell you call it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a thing where a guy was showing um, direct energy weapons, and he was okay. hitting it, and it hit this special blue paint, and it wouldn't do anything. And he put it on something else that didn't have this special paint, and it was just setting the whole thing on fire like crazy. And he was showing it. Now, people go. People gonna. Some people are gonna say, ah, "What are you talking about, Dark Strange? What, these things are real, whatever." Well, if you actually go online, if you go on Google, yep. you can type in like if you're bored. Sometimes when I'm bored, I have you know a lot less time now that I have a little uh, nine month old. But uh, you know, when I have free time, sometimes I get bored. I, I'll go online and I'll go on Google and I'll I'll look up uh, patents. Okay. For for certain things. Like if I want to know about something like say direct energy weapons, I'll go in and I'll type in for patents for direct energy weapons. Read some interesting things this past week about really? direct energy weapons. Oh shit. Evidently there's been patents on them since 2006, 2008 talking about both direct energy weapons and EM weapons, things that they've said that they've been able to manipulate people's brain waves, make them do different things with uh Electromagnetic weapons. Well, that's very interesting because yeah. that, that kind of... It's very interesting. Jesus now, Christ. The funny thing is, there's also... I read this a long time ago, but I've recently looked back into it a bit. There's a certain guy that has 26 patents on weather control technology. Oh. I won't you know, say who because last time we mentioned him and his vaccines, we get taken down. Our, our thing on on, yeah. on the tube. Yeah. But it, I don't think it was for mentioning yeah. his name, by the well, way. Well, you know. Because I, I just had a short shut down. Oh, really? Look, dude, I have been getting anywhere <laughs> from 252 views yeah. to 2,000 views off of my shorts lately. Wow. And I'm not saying that to be, like, impressive or anything. I'm saying that because those are the numbers that I've been yeah. getting back. I put up one the other day mm -hmm. where I said that the government has put us all where we are today. Mm -hmm. If you connect all the dots, they make a line leading us all into poverty, mm -hmm. and the government is not fixing it, and they oh, definitely no. started it 
with the lockdowns. Absolutely. And that short went out, one fucking view. Wow. One fucking yeah, view. In two days, one fucking view. Yep. Every video within four or five hours, over 200 views. It's not impressive. I get that. But look at the difference in the yeah. fucking numbers. You go from 2,000 on the short to one. One? Yeah. One view. Well, Bill Gates owns all of those patents. Yeah. 26 patents on weather technology. Okay. Now, what's the biggest thing that the Democrats are always talking about? What's the biggest thing that they're trying to get money for? And we're, it's going to be the end of the world. The ice caps are melting. Oh, the all climate? Shit. Climate change. Climate change. Yeah. So let me ask you. It's the biggest. If climate change and weather are the two most screwed up things, and one guy who's been pushing the pandemic and all this other crap owns all the technology on it, what does that make you wonder? Makes you wonder. Yeah, it does right. make me wonder. Yeah, which it, brings us back to those five uh, G towers that they have everywhere. Yeah, that are landing off EM waves like crazy. Right. Or or maybe those uh, wind farms with those giant windmills that somehow, for whatever weird reason, have giant motors in them with you know that are greased and oil and all kinds of stuff. I mean, to me, that's more of a motor that's in there that they not use to take energy, but maybe. They use that wind to help build storms. Oh, maybe shit. I don't know. Well, I, could let, be going off of this. Yeah. I mean, what is it? Dubai? Oh, Dubai. Yeah, they schedule they, rain. They they, they schedule, schedule rain. Yeah. Yep. They schedule it. They yep. literally make it rain once a week. Yep. You're gonna tell me that's not fucking with us too? That's crazy. That's insane. Yeah. It's not supposed to rain. But let me tell you. And they make if, it rain once a week. What do you think those chemtrails are all about? They're putting the heavy metals and stuff in the sky to help with the, the rain and stuff. The first place they tested it. Now, I'm guessing Bill Gates' father probably owned the technology back then. Mm. In Vietnam, supposedly we were doing chemtrails all over Vietnam. And what did it do? Most of the time during that war, it rain. rained nonstop. Nonstop. We trying to drown them out. But it was also, I think, about testing that technology. Really? Yeah. Makes me wonder how much it rains in Vietnam now. Probably not as much. Right? Yeah. I'm not saying, like, I, I, I don't know, right? I don't know what I don't I, know. I, I but don't at the either, same but... time, I don't believe in coincidences. No. I don't believe in that at all. No. I never have, I never thing. believed in a coincidence. No. We've got this government lies to us constantly. Yes. You know, especially with the current well, regime we have. But... Was it was it Libya mm -hmm. that just, like, not even flooded, like, movie style? Yeah, yeah. Like, flooded. Well, Libya... I mean, if you want was, to talk about Libya. It was a massive, massive earthquake, which is why I brought up that other weapon yeah. that causes the vibrations. Yes. And there are people who think that uh, it wasn't India, but it was like in that region where they had that huge tsunami. Yes. Right? People think that they used another weapon they have that makes right. earthquakes to create that tsunami and cause all kinds of problems. And I mean, you're talking thousands of people died oh, in Libya. Yeah. Thousands. Oh, yeah. Well, if you anytime you talk about Libya... Omar Gaddafi was like this great leader that was like, you know, they were giving him the Nobel Peace Prize because he was creating all these waterways and farmlands and trying to help feed his people and take yep. care of all of his people and doing all these great things. And then all of a sudden he says, I'm going to create our own currency for our country that's on a gold backed security. And the World Bank went, nope. Hmm. And all of a sudden, he's an evil dictator that has to be taken out. Right. Yes, I remember discussing this yeah, with we you. We talked about before. it before. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's you know, if you're gonna go into you know that country, that's that's what happened there. Right. I mean, any anytime you go against the World Bank, uh, a week before JFK got killed, he was talking about uh, getting rid of the Fed, the Fed Reserve. Oh yes, he and was going back to a gold backed security. All of a sudden, he's dead a week later, assassinated. You know. Yeah, that's weird. It's kind of crazy. When it's you think questionable about it. for yeah. sure. It's definitely questionable. And you think about the uh, the only countries that weren't part of the World Bank about ten years ago. You had Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, Iran. Um, there was uh, Cuba. Okay, I think I think Venezuela or, so, or maybe like one other country. What's been going on in all those? Oh, in um, Syria. Okay. So those are like the six countries that didn't belong to the World Bank. What's going on in all of those countries? Are they collapsing? I mean, we keep making war with all of these countries. Oh, that's true, too. You yeah. know what I mean? Because the World Bank is, you know, the power that, you know, controls everything. And, you know, going back to that uh, Klaus Schwab guy who's like, you know, yeah. you will own nothing and you will like it. And 
you know, trying to get it ready to be renters and yeah, and yeah, bugs and all this crap. Yeah, it's, and there's, he's not the only one. No, but he's he's a big pusher of it. Right. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, because I've gotten I've gotten a couple of videos of some crazy shit that's gone on in in our past that is now popping up, and it's very, uh, very accurate to where we are today. You know. Yeah. Well, getting back to on topic to the, oh, I hope people don't mind our ADHD going, but um, <laughs> that's what this that's what this podcast is, bro. Oh, I know. I'm all over the, the two place. of us are ridiculous. But uh, trying to stay back on topic. Okay. The, uh, so when the firefighters in Maui are trying to put out the fires, they, they they you know they tap on the hydrants and there's no water. Okay. There's no water. Well, they, and when they went to the guy who controls all the water in in Maui and said, "Listen, you guys need to open up the reservoir." And, yes, and, I heard about and this. And he was like, "You need to get permission, written permission from the farmers for me to do that because I have to, you know, take care of the water. That's their most pre- precious resource is clean water on on Maui, in Hawaii in general." And it's like the place is burning, dude. Yeah, turn it on. I don't. I, There's nothing worse. I mean, I, like that's that's an absolute nightmare. I mean, I'm a, obviously some people know I'm a firefighter. That's like a nightmare. If you, if you have no water, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, you're just I mean, watching it burn. You, like we, in one of our engines, we have a thousand gallons of water. Okay. okay, that gives you maybe five minutes of to firefighting. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, five minutes for five a thousand minutes. gallons. A thousand gallons is gone in five minutes. So basically, we pull up on scene. They drag a hose line into the building and they start hitting it with water. If we don't get a hydrant tapped and get water going into that truck to send to them in five minutes, they're out of water. Oh, wow. So you're, you're tapping into the truck. And then yeah. when you tap the fire hydrant, then you're we, plugging that into the truck. So it's so the hydrants water. filling it into the truck yep. and then it's coming out. Oh, yeah. I always thought you directly connected your hose to the fire hydrant. No. Oh, oh, interesting. No. Oh, no, no, no. Well, I just we, learned something new. Yeah. I mean, so you get the water from the hydrant. If you have a good hydrant, you get more pressure. Mm-hmm. You know, you can, you can throw them more water. Yeah. In that case, if you have a good hydrant, you can run multiple lines off your truck and be able to hit it from different angles and hit different things and exposures and stuff like, you know, other buildings or whatnot. And that helps a lot. But man, they went in to tap that. They did nothing. Really? You know, the one time I've heard about in, in my area, um, the Malden Mills fire, which was a huge fire in like 96, I think. I was like, you know, just out of high school then. But in 96, they had that huge fire at Malden Mills, and I guess they went to hit the hydrants, and the water, there was like no water. One of the lieutenants was like freaking out, like throwing snowballs at the building, like, I don't know what to do. We have no water. I mean, they eventually did get some and helped to, to get it out and, 26 years, I think, came up to help. Crazy. Absolutely Jesus crazy. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. That was that was a huge fire. That's crazy. Huge fire. Yeah. So. Probably the, the worst thing until the gas explosions that we had there a few years ago. Right. Or, wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That was the craziest day of my life. I, I mean, that was wild. All over yeah. the news, just explosions yeah. everywhere. But yeah, w- yeah. when I heard about the fire hydrant issue and the no water, they were mm-hmm. also talking about the siren not going off. Oh, yeah. And then they made up an excuse yeah. that said that if they let off the, the siren, that is a tsunami mm-hmm. siren. So it would cause people to go back into land. And that's why they didn't sound well, it off. And Tulsi Gabbard on yes. Morgan's podcast talked about how that's absolute horseshit. Because that's, that's what I thought. Basically, what they do is when they sound that siren... At the same time, they usually send out an alert to, to everybody's cell phones. So anybody that's near any tower, it's going to ping your phone, and it's going to say, like, you know, uh, big earthquake in Japan, you know, possible tsunami warning in the next three to four days. Right. You know, seek high ground, you know, keep up for updates and whatnot. So at the same time, if they'd set that off and sent out an alert that said, you know, huge wildfires head towards the water, People could have gone towards the water and away from the fire and been safe. Yep. So you could have saved everyone's life doing that. Yeah, I believe so. So I'm sorry. I think it's bullshit. I think it was bullshit, too. it's bullshit. I I thought it was total bullshit when I fucking heard it. I'm like, this is the most retarded thing I've ever heard in my life. You didn't set off a siren because you thought it would bring people back into land? Yeah. Uh, what? The thing that gets me the most is the area that they would... Blackrock has been trying to buy in for the longest time. 
is the poorer, more generational area yep. of Lahaina. And they've been trying for years, and people there have been telling them, like, I've been here, you know, some people, like, there's a big surfer guy, I guess, who's from there, that, you know, his family been there nine generations. And he was, they were like, we're not selling. None of us are selling. We, this is our home. This has been our home for generations. Nobody's leaving. Yep. And those exact areas that they were trying to buy out are the ones that got hit. Interesting. Like like a controlled layout of the area that they want. And the thing is, they've been talking for a long time about building a giant smart city there. Well, that's, yeah. Uh, yeah these yeah. smart cities, dude. Oh, yeah. They are popping up where all this devastation is happening. It's interesting. Oh, it's isn't weird. It? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's questionable. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's, it's kind of like in China how they've, they've built uh, these mega cities yes. in the middle of nowhere that could, that could like, hold like a billion people or something. Well, didn't Dubai do the wall city? Oh, Have you seen, oh, you seen that all shit? All across Africa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's just a giant friggin' wall, yeah. X amount of whatever feet, and buildings yeah. on both sides. And in, and, and in the middle, they have this giant cube yeah. building. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's all it's like, you can't, you can't see in it. No. And you can't get over it. I'll tell you what, you should uh, link that. There's a video, and I'll send you later, that, that talks about that, and... You can link it in the description. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That will blow people's minds. Like, it's fucking nuts, dude. Oh, my God. This shit is wild. Yeah. And it's, it's like, you can kind of see. right across the Sahara. Like, it, they're throwing it right across the desert. It's insane. Yeah. Insane. And and it's like, every place that, like, where this is going, these 15-minute cities right. are going to be popping up, and they're literally trying to just wipe out areas and, and then build these things. Think about it like this. To contain everybody. Have you ever seen? Judge, you'll be happy. You ever seen Judge Dredd? Yes. They have everybody in this giant. The original city. or the remake? The original. Okay, one, good. On, the good. Remake, yeah, the remake was shit. Yeah, the stolen was cool in the other one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the original, like, or if you read the comics or whatever, they they you know they have these people all in these giant mega cities, mm -hmm. and then they tell you that the rest of the world is just you know wasteland of devastation and death and this and that. The reason they want everybody in these giant mega cities is they can control you. Yeah. They they want control over to over you. Which is why they've gone and and they make it illegal to collect rainwater. They make it illegal to Yeah, they to, do. It's illegal here. Uh, uh Biden wants wants you if you have a if you have a a garden, he wants you to register it with the government. Fuck you. In case there's God forbid there's, you know, a disaster. What? We need more food, food shortage. For My little ten by ten's gonna feed some somebody that's, besides us. And that's what they're they're trying to do. Yeah, what the if fuck, you have dude? Any no. kind of growing, they wanna know about it. It's it, it it's insane. No. It's insane. That's ridiculous. If you want let's let's put it this way. If you wanted to go out and buy solar panels and put them on your house, you bought them outright, put mm -hmm. them on your house. And you want to put uh, some kind of an energy bank in your house and oh, completely good luck getting that fucking own, past. It's good luck. illegal. It's illegal to do it. A lot you of can't even have a battery backup in your house with solar panels because the solar panel companies have made it illegal to do. Oh, they did. Yeah, because they want to control you. They want you. See, I, I got solar panels, but mine just feeds energy. But it's all a monopoly, back in. too. It is like, all a monopoly. I mean, we yes. have, in New Hampshire, the highest energy prices of any state in the country. Yeah. Like, I don't know about you, but in the last three years, my electric bill has more than doubled, and my usage is down. I looked. My usage is down by, like, 30% from when I first moved in. I had a bill Holy this shit. summer with the two ACs running. I didn't even run my pool this summer because I had, you know, I, I had some damage to my pool. So I didn't, I just, we were too busy with the baby to even use it anyway. So yeah, right. I said the hell with it. I'm not running it, whatever. With just two ACs, which I've had every summer for the three years I've been there, my bill was almost $500 one month. Holy I'm shit. Like, the hell? And my usage was still down from the two years before and I never had a bill over 300. Oh my God. So what does that tell you? you That's I mean? insane, and dude. my usage is, I mean- because they're getting you with all these fees and transportation fees of electricity and all this other crap. Oh, uh, my favorite is the delivery charge. Yeah. Delivery fee. Yeah. For delivering what? Yeah. What the fuck are you delivering? You already delivered the wire to my house. Yeah. You're not really delivering anything. No. Why are you getting a fucking fee for that? No. But the problem is, is there's no alternative companies that you can go to. No. No. Eversource is a monopoly around oh, here. Yeah. You're not, I mean, that's it. It absolutely is. You know, back in the day, you had like the baby bells and stuff. And they, they, yep. they split up... Uh, whatever that company was. And um, 
you know, because they said, oh, you can't have monopolies. And it's not, you know, everything's a fucking monopoly. Everything's a monopoly. Yeah, everything's I love how we were saying there can't be a monopoly, and now everything's a monopoly these days. Yep. You know, yep. it's absolutely ridiculous. And that's one of the reasons why I got the solar panels mm-hmm. on my house, but I don't own them, right? I'm See, leasing that's them. That's problem. Yeah. I don't own them. And there was no, it's not, uh, I don't bank anything, mm-hmm. but the amount of energy that they absorb and put back in, I just have. Uh, rate that I pay, but I always pay that delivery charge. Yeah. It's only $13.81, yeah. but it's still retarded to charge people for delivering energy when you already put the wire on the house. Yeah. Obviously, it's going to come to my house. Yeah. There's no delivery there, yeah. you know? So that shit bothers me, but... Well, I'll tell you what, my uh, my father-in-law, probably one of the smartest things he did was when he retired from the... He was a little firefighter. When he retired, he bought some solar panels for his house outright. Yep. And he has a bunch of them on his roof, and the electric company actually sends him a check. Oh, yes. Up. You know, nice little check. It's like. Yeah, because he's producing more than he's using, yeah. which is nice. See, I produce more than I use uh, in the winter mm-hmm. because I'm not using as much during the winter. But then during the summer, I take it all back plus yeah. some. Yeah. So I. I still, I, yeah, it evens yeah. out. I mean, I don't think I've, I don't think in the last seven years I've paid over 160 bucks a month. Mm. Yeah. So. But again, you should be able to use that for yourself. I mean. I mean, you should, you should be able to bank it, put it away, yeah. whatever you want to do. You should be able to do whatever you want in your own home. If you want to bank your solar po- panels, whatever, you should be able to do it. The fact that they made it illegal is crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and. And I just don't understand it, uh, how, like, even when I moved in, I was like, oh, I'm going to have my gutters drop off in a bucket, mm-hmm. and then I can use that water to, like, water my lawn and stuff and do all these things, and that's when the city of Manchester was like, no, that's illegal. You're not allowed to put rainwater in a barrel. Yeah. Why? crazy it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever we're mostly pavement around here what the fuck are you worried about yeah we don't have a water shortage we haven't had a drought in a couple years yeah i'm like what's taught what what, we what why can't i collect it in a fucking barrel you should be at listen you know you buy land it's weird you're supposed to own the land they still have to pay taxes on it yep and when you get your paycheck you're taxed on it and then you buy stuff you're taxed on it again yep and you do anything else, you tax on it, you breathe, you tax it. It's, it's ridiculous. Hey, if someone dies and they give you all the money that they've earned and oh, saved yeah. and already paid taxes on it, you get to pay taxes on it again. If you want to, which is you really fucking wanna, bullshit. You what, if you really want to leave money to, you know, kids or yeah. a friend or whatever when you when you pass, start hiding under your mattress in the friggin' box. The best yep. chance you get, well, you get a burn safe and throw it in there, but, you know, just in case, but. It's ridiculous. You just it's you ridiculous. can't. They tax it's literally ridiculous. every goddamn yeah. thing that we touch. Yep. And it's, it's, they're always looking for more, and they keep finding ways to take it from us, you know? It's just mm-hmm. like uh, pay rates today. They're really low. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I think everybody should get a pay hike to go along with the inflation that happened and to keep up with it. And you know what I keep getting back in my face? Mm-hmm. As soon as we up the labor rate... They're gonna up everything else because now they it's went exactly from ten, they ten exactly billion. They're, they're making they ten billion right now. You up everybody's pay rate. Mm-hmm. They only make eight. Well, then they're gonna go. Well, I want that two back, mm-hmm. and I want more. Yeah. And then we're right back to where we were. Nothing works out, and they keep winning. What you really need to do, you know, if you wanted to really fix the way everybody lives, is you say a company, say, you know, CEO's busting his ass. He's doing all this stuff. He has employees, whatever. Maybe say the company. You know, the owner of the company can't make more than, say, 80% of the money or something. Yeah. And then the employees get what's left or something like that. And, I mean, you got to figure out something like that and, like, put a cap on it. Because, I mean, like, I used to work at a company, you know, an uh, investment company. I won't say, you know, which one it is. But uh, one year they, they announced to all of us that we weren't going to be getting any raise. They weren't going to give out any raises to anybody this year. Okay. Um, or very few people would be getting raises. And then the next day... They announced that the CEO was still going to get his $25 million bonus. Isn't that nice? Right? Yep. Nobody's getting a raise except the CEO who gets his right. you know, his bonus that he gets every year. And that's the part that bothers me about this auto strike Yeah. that's going on right now. Is that when these companies were going under, 
Mm-hmm. All the employees were like, we, we will cut this, we'll cut this, we'll cut this, and we'll cut this. They cut a whole bunch of stuff. I can't remember the logistics. Mm-hmm. But the, 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 the employees were like, we'll do this. Their unionized union employees were like, we'll do all of this to keep this company afloat. Mm-hmm. As soon as you start making profits, we would like some of this stuff back. They made profits over and over and over again, gave them nothing. Mm -hmm. And then when they're asking for 40%, everybody's freaking out. Like they're asking for so much. But if you look at what they gave up, they gave up over 60% of what they were making when when that that originally happened. Unions, you know, some people think unions are terrible and unions and this and that, whatever. I think it's bullshit. I'm part of a union, obviously. If if you don't have a union that can fight back and say, you know, no, we're not going to put up with this. You should never give up anything. No. Never. Never. You know? Um, it's it just... Hap- it happens where sometimes, like, you know, right. they might ask you to give up, uh, uh, you know, a percentage of your pay for a year, but, oh, we'll make it up to you and this and that. You got to fight. You have to fight for th- that. You know they have the money. Right. And they're just using it for other well, shit. That's what I was getting at. Yeah. Is that the amount that they're asking for is minimal compared to the CEOs... Mm-hmm. That have gotten all of their bonuses. Their uh, stockholders have gotten all of their shares. Mm-hmm. And between those two parts, they could ge- give each employee over $400,000 a year. There you go. It, I mean, it's the same, I don't know about you. But it, it's the same say, story over and over again, though. Let's just say, like, in the instance of the company I used to work for, let's just say I get a, a you know, whatever his base pay was, I don't know. Maybe it's a million. Say it's a million bucks. Yeah. But then if the company's profitable, he gets a $25 million bonus every year. And he was probably CEO for 10 or 15 years when I was there. Holy shit. So here's the thing. How much is enough? Right. You know what I mean? Because if I'm that guy and I've got, you know, half a billion dollars, or or let's just say, you know, know, theoretically, if I have half a billion dollars and, you know, because inflation is always a thing. It's always happening. Prices are always going up. Yep. If if for one year I had to give up that twenty five million to make it so that all of the employees under me could feed their families a little bit better, could could live their lives a little bit better, why wouldn't I? Oh, because you need three quarters of a billion dollars. <laughs> That's my point, though. It's ridiculous. How That's- much is enough? Who the fuck knows? Yeah. Because they won't stop. Because yeah. this is the same story. This isn't just about the auto workers. Yeah. This isn't. This is about the train workers. This is about the auto workers. Oh, this yeah. is Starbucks. This is every single fucking corporation on this planet, oh, yeah. only looking at CEOs, stockholders, and profits. Mm-hmm. That's all they give a fuck about. If they could literally get free labor and just mm-hmm. shit all over us, they would a hundred percent. Absolutely. They would 100%. Look at how Amazon treats their workers. You know, They're also in this pool. You started this talking about um, how they're making us all poor. In, in this yes. Net. So if you think about it like this, we're all basically indentured servants now. Mm-hmm. We're barely, we're, we're working to survive. Not even, you know, not to thrive, just to survive. Just survive, yes. You know, and the more that they do it, the more, you know, you know, the harder times we're in. Yes. And I don't know about you, but. Most people are looking at second jobs. Yep. Third jobs. I know a couple. You know, I know a Biden's couple. Biden's talking about there's third. so many more new people in the in the workforce. No, there's not. It's not new people in the nope. workforce. It's people taking on a second and or a third job. Right. Just to survive, not to get ahead, just to survive. Right. You got you, know? you got you got Billy working at fucking Home Depot, Walmart, and fucking probably Market Basket at this point. Whatever. 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 But they but there's they're counting that as three individual fucking jobs. Absolutely. That's three. Yeah. That's three new jobs. Yeah. No, no, no. That's the same motherfucker trying to fucking yeah. survive. Yeah. Don't you tell me it's three Listen, new jobs. My, my wife has an hour commute to work every day. Okay. Oof, that's an a rough hour one. Hour commute to I work. I used to every do that. Day. Look at the gas prices. Dude, they're How insane. Much gone up? I pay five dollars a gallon. I have to put yeah. premium in. It's a hundred and sixty-four dollars every week. I took her car to go grocery shopping the other day, and and she was at. You know, the gas light came on, so I went and filled it up for her. It was $69 for a Jeep to fill up our Jeep so she could go to work. Off of regular? Yeah. Holy fuck, dude. 60, I was like, oh, my God. Like, you know, obviously, I have a little extra in my account. I'm like, ah, I'm going to do it so that the wife, you know, can get to work and whatever. Just to, you know, something nice to do. 
Crazy. Crazy. She, she tells me she fills her tank at least twice a week just to get to work. Yeah, back. I believe it. Just to get to work and back. Yeah, so you're talking over $120, $130. It's nuts. That's insane. It's nuts. And, and you know, uh, a few years ago, before Biden got in the office, 34 35 well, bucks to fill your tank? I mean... Russia just cut off the oil supply. Yeah. So it's supposed to get worse. Oh, so why don't we just uh, go back to what we had and open up the uh, pipeline? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that would be... Nice. Yeah, yeah. That would be great. Yeah. No, I don't know why have why we've been dragging our feet on uh, making refinery plants, right? When we when we know we have plenty of shit to fucking tap in our own country. You know, the biggest thing is, you know, we're giving two hundred billion dollars to Ukraine. We should be. Are we up to two hundred oh, already? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's two hundred billion now. I knew it was over a hundred. Another internet conspiracy. People are saying that. A lot of that money is getting funneled back through cryptocurrency yeah. to the Democratic Party and Biden. The Biden oh, I didn't family. hear about that, oh, yeah. but I knew that it was a lot of stuff being it's not true being or not, used for what it's supposed to be being used for. If people want, they can go though and look. Uh, there is footage of uh, Biden talking about and laughing about how he threatened this guy in um, Ukraine about getting on board with this stuff, or you know, he'd mm. lose his job and they wouldn't get the funds. This is during the Obama administration. Jesus. Wouldn't get the funds that they were looking for if, if they didn't uh, make something else go away. Oh, yeah. It, like, there was footage of it all. Of the inter- I don't know if it's still there or not, but he, the guy's very corrupt. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I think he's a boob. He doesn't know what the hell's going on anymore, but he was very corrupt for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think he probably understands the most racist human what being. fucking day of the week oh, yeah. it is at this point. Yeah. I really don't. Hey, think about it like this, though. What did Obama say? People said, if you could run for a third term, would you? And he goes, well... Could get somebody else who's like a front man, and I could just hang out in my basement in my pajamas and and do it through them. <laughs> I would. Oh, that's weird. It's exactly what Biden that's did. That's kind of like what it looks like <laughs> right now. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Thousand percent. I mean, how oh. long did they stuff him in that fucking basement and hide oh, him from dude, us? So crazy. But I mean, you know? getting onto that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, the what do you call it? The John Pelletier, the police chief in Maui. Oh, okay. So he just got some kind of certificate from the FBI for, like, investigative something or, or other. Mm-hmm. And both A.G. Barr, the attorney general, and the FBI director, Ray, were both there to give it to him. But these are two guys that are in the Clinton's pockets all day, you know. But, you know, we won't talk about that and, you know, the fact that he was in both Vegas and Lahaina. Craziness. Two of the biggest things ever. But, you know. We also don't talk about the male prostitute that was at the Pelosi's house. Yeah. Right? <laughs> or uh, maybe cocaine in the White House. That's not oh. talked about very often. <laughs> what do you like mean? Hunter. Oh, no no allegedly. way. It allegedly. Was, there's no way it was Hunter, bro. <laughs> but what I really want to wonder, right, why is the press not talking about the dead chef that supposedly drowned at the Obama's house? Oh, shit. There was a chef. Working for the Obamas supposedly for years now. Yes. That supposedly went out. Now, I've, I've heard two different stories. I've heard that he was like this great swimmer in high school and whatever and this and that. And I've heard he didn't know how to swim at all. And that he supposedly went out paddle boarding and drowned in like four feet of water. Okay. Oh. Now, the next day, people, I saw footage of uh, Obama golfing. The next day, he claimed he wasn't at, at home when this happened. And he was away, and the next day he was somewhere else golfing, and his hands were all taped up, like he'd gotten in a fight or something. Okay. Oh. Now, what that made me think of when I saw that was when they caught OJ after he killed, or allegedly killed, killed his wife yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and her boyfriend. When they did catch him, his hands were all taped up and stuff, like he'd been in a fight of some kind, and it it reminded me of that. Which is kind of really? weird, but it made me think of that right away, and I was like, "Huh." I wonder. I wonder what that guy saw that he wasn't supposed to see, right? You know, was it Michelle's? <laughs> uh, I mean, Michael Johnson. I mean, um, Michelle's Johnson. I, I, I don't know what, uh, what, what I'm saying, but uh, something maybe that he wasn't supposed to see. I mean, <laughs> or was it the guy? Did you see the interview that, that of the guy that said he uh, sucked Obama's? Dick, oh, dude. Jesus. That I was that was absolutely priceless because I don't know about you, but I mean, Jesus Christ, if that was true, dude, I'm telling multiple you. times. I mean, I know we've talked about it on the podcast before. You had uh, was that lady that used to do the runway stuff? 
Um, oh, um, that uh, passed away uh, a week after she said Michelle's a tranny. Yes, yes. Uh, she had you know went in for surgery or something supposedly. And, yeah, and, and then and died. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. And she was like, oh please, we already have a transvestite in the White White House. Yeah, Michelle's a man. Everybody knows the worst yeah. kept secret. Like, yeah, Michelle's a man, and uh, Obama was definitely gay, oh, yeah. supposedly. I mean, come on. You don't get those vibes. I mean, hey, if you are, and who she gives is, a shit? I don't care. No one cares. As long as you're happy, I don't really care. But it's it's just more of the lies. Yes. They, they, yes. It, and that's the thing. We're truth seekers, you know? We, we want to know the truth about stuff. But if he's gay and Michelle's a man, just tell us. We don't really... I mean, it's like they, they try to tell us about aliens, which I think is horseshit anyways. But I think they try to tell us all about it because, you know, they want us to know. I think they're going to try that Operation Blue Beam shit in, in next year's right around election time. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, alien invasion. No, we got to suspend elections. I guarantee you that's what's going to happen. You think? Oh, I think so. I, think I don't know, man. Because Obama this... was supposed to do it back really? when, when Trump was getting elected. Yeah. And I think he didn't have the balls to do it then. I think they're going to try it. I really do. I think you're going to hear about an alien invasion next October. I just, I'm calling it right now. All right. It's going to be on the internet. I said it right now. Next October, they're going to try fake an alien invasion. Wouldn't that be fucking something? I mean, those the, the pictures of the aliens that they found mm. were fucking ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Those look like E.T. Yeah. They had, like, all kinds of, like, like shit that's not supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. It just looked fake oh, yeah. as hell. And this whole thing with telling us about the aliens now, yeah. I think it's just a giant distraction. And oh, if yeah. and if it is all true, why have they not released any of the footage or the evidence or all the shit oh, that they've been hiding from us bullshit, for dude. eons? There is an invasion happening, though. If you look all across Europe, you have all of these migrants coming up from Africa and stuff. And... Uh, you know, basically destroying all of Europe right now. Okay. And here's the thing. The other day, they had uh, supposedly, uh, Biden had his people, they had uh, razor wire going across this uh, river in um, Texas. Oh. Because they wanted to keep people from coming across this river. They had literally had razor wire in the river to try to keep people from coming through. Well, Biden had his people take it out oh. and, like, destroy it. And... In the time that it was destroyed, it was it was down for one day, and the governor made an order. He sent, uh, um, you know, the army in basically, and had them put it back in, because in one day, they had like a hundred and fifty thousand men from Venezuela come across the border, and I I mean, there's video online. You guys can all go look of these men coming across. They're under some some bridge at one point. They're like walking across under this bridge, um, red something. Hmm. But when you watch now, the, I, I saw footage. It was like ten minutes of footage of just like men, just, you know, hiking across. Every I didn't see one woman or one child. Every single person looked like eighteen to thirty five years old, male, all looking like they're in shape. Here, it, it literally looks like a military invasion of these men just walking across. And they're going from Venezuela to where? I guess they somehow came through Mexico. Okay. And they're coming across the Texas border. Okay. All right. All right. So you they're know? going that way. And they're okay. claiming asylum here and this and that. Now, if you really wanted to destroy this country, how hard would it be if you sent a couple hundred thousand military age men here and have them each do something? Right. You know, bomb a building, uh, shoot up a, a I, building. Something. I don't even think you it have to take much. I don't think it would take much, but I don't even think you have to take it that far. No. I mean, literally, I believe, and I, I don't want this to be true, but I feel like we are so close to a civil war. Oh, yeah. Like, so fucking close. You know, some people think that's what they want, though. You know, I mean, I, mean, I think they, they could they could try to take more control. Then. Right. Well, they, they yeah. want they want anything to happen where it's going to help them take more control well, from that's, us. That's what that's, it's all that's, about. that's all that's, this is all about. All that's about what control. all this conversation has been about. Mm-hmm. They are literally just trying to control everything we do. We will yep. uh, be happy with nothing. Yeah, you'll have nothing. You'll have and nothing. You'll like it. <laughs> and you will like it. And that's that's Paul Schwab. That's yeah. it. Yep. And I do believe it is happening right in front of our eyes. And, you know, one of the biggest things that I've read up on is the, you know, the falling of empires. And it usually happens with all of when when the population focuses on uh, sex, Mm -hmm. 
what you are, what what it is, all Sodom this stuff. And it's just it's all this shit of the yeah. downfall of an empire, and I feel like we are literally watching it, and I don't feel like it's in slow motion anymore. Did I send you? Did I happen to send you the picture of? Uh, I don't know if I did or not, but there was a picture um, showing people on a beach in the in the seventies. I don't know if I sent you that one. Uh, I don't think I did, but uh, there was no. It's not there. Nope. So there was a. Uh, a picture in the 1970s, a bunch of people on the beach says, look around at this picture. Nobody's obese. Nobody, you know. Yeah, right. They, they all look healthy. There's no chemtrails in the sky. You know, everybody's looks healthy for the most part and looks yep. good. You look at you a pic- picture of a beach today. Oh, my oh God. boy. Oh, man. I thought they were a bunch of beach whales. Yeah. It's, it's brutal. Bad. It's bad. Oh, everybody is. It's like, it's like when I said to you about, uh, I, I was talking to you earlier about, you know, uh, Red Bull and. and mm-hmm. Uh, I got a buddy who was drinking Red Bull and um, Monsters all the time, and he was smoking cigarettes and stuff. And otherwise, he was, you know, he exercised and he ate, you know, decent from what from what he told me. But I was like, dude, just that alone, drinking that stuff and, and smoking, that's gonna kill you. And he was like, ah, I'm young, who cares, whatever. And 30 years old, he had a massive stroke. Mm-hmm. You know, lost use of, you know, one side of his body for a while, and. He's, he's only like you know eighty percent of it back. You know had That's to had to change careers. He was a mechanic making good money, and you know now he's got like a desk job sitting on his butt doing nothing. And because yeah, you can't do anything can't after do that. Nothing. I mean, no. a stroke is extremely oh, yeah. scary. Oh, trust me, my dad had a, a major major stroke about five years ago, and you know even though he had like a five percent chance of surviving, my dad's a stubborn old brick, so he he made it through. You know, but. You know, it's so much damage to your brain and stuff. So much. Now he doesn't know what the hell's going on half the time. Yeah. See, that's you the know? sad part. It's awful. It's and you awful. just, it's really, it, it, I put that, I put a stroke on the same level as like dementia and shit. It's just oh. sad. It destroys oh, yeah. people. They're oh, not yeah. the same person anymore, no. mentally or physically, no. for the most part. Yeah. It's really, really sad. It but is. Red Bull and fucking monsters. Monsters. Man. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah. I believe that 100%. I read an article one time talking about how, uh, they use a chemical in those two drinks that they use to wake up coma patients. Mm. But they do like 10 times the amount in those drinks that they do to wake up a coma patient. That's why Which is insane. Like, Ooh, like crazy when you're on it. So there's more it's in so those drinks oh, than yeah. they would use to wake yeah. up a coma patient. Yeah, think about that. Now, I'm just curious, and I don't know I if mean, you know. A, is it was it, a medical journal that I was reading. It, I don't know. No, 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 that's exactly, fine. But is, a doctor, it, but is it a person that goes into a coma, or is it a person that they put into a coma? I think they use it for people that they put into They like put into the coma because they, uh, yeah. they need to get them back out. Yeah. Okay, all right, Who that knows? makes sense. They might use the same Maybe. thing for people that went into one on their own to try to get them to out of it. To try to get them out of it? I okay, really, I'm okay. Not, again, I'm not a Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, I don't know if I should ask this, but at the same time, I'm kind of curious, you know. So but that mean, would make sense. Induce comas, yeah, pop yeah. them out of it. A lot of scary shit out there, man. Dude, yeah. this whole world is fucking falling so apart around us, dude. It's scary. scary. It's scary. These earthquakes, the the fires. I mean, this is not a coincidence. No, no. no. And whether or not it's all being orchestrated right in front of us, I'm not gonna say it's a hundred percent, but I feel like it. I feel like I'm pretty damn close, dude. I, this shit's wild. We've been destroying our environment for yeah. How I mean, since the day we've been on this planet, and the one thing I keep putting out there over and over and over again is that yes. Do we need to do things to help with our climate and it changing? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But we can't be the only country doing it because if we're the only country that is doing it, there is so many other countries out there that don't even give a fuck about anything that we are doing that if they don't join. Well, one of the reasons Trump left the uh, the Paris Climate Accords is he was saying that, one, we were putting more money in than any other country into the stupid uh, Paris Accords. Two, the, what they wanted to do is they wanted to kill all coal production for our country, yep. which is one of the cheapest energy resources we have. Cleanest and cheap. Well, I cheap. thought one coal the, was dirty. No, it's not. It's a clean fuel. But oh. the, the thing is that they, they wanted to kill that, right, because they say it's going to put more CO into the into the atmosphere or whatever. Oh, you... Shit. Oh, just like let's let's, right? let's pause on that for a yeah. second because if you want to talk about the the carbon and the CO mm. uh, CO two in the air, the planet has never been greener. No. So if we were having a massive problem, the plants would be fucking dying. Yeah. And they're not; they're thriving today. Well, 
I don't know if I agree with that completely. Ooh, because like it. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We've been drowned this year. That's true. And two That's years true. ago, the same thing in the summertime. We, we had tons of rain two years ago in the summer. But There's a lot summer, of rain now. This summer has been insane. 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 The water t- table is way now, over to this at year. At my house, I have these like really old hydrangeas and stuff that have been there for probably 50 years. And when I tell you, when I first moved in, these things bloomed flowers like crazy. I oh, had like yeah? the prettiest front of my house and in the back. Okay. Tons of these beautiful flowering plants. I've seen one bud on one of those plants this year. Only one. Think they're drowning? They're drowning. Oh, There's shit. There's so much rain. They're I had drowning. a beautiful lawn this year. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. It was gorgeous. Great. Thick, healthy. But I'm telling you right now. <laughs> It's too much rain for everything else. Oh no no no! It's way too oh, much it's rain. Crazy. I mean the, j- not to go too off topic, but yeah. the the house next to me, uh, they've never had water in their basement, and they they can't keep the water out of the basement right oh, no. now. It's I, brutal. I had to put an insurance brutal. claim in because there was so much water in my basement. Yeah, see that's Which fucking insane. I never like to use that. You know, I go to the insurance no. and whatnot, but yeah, because the yeah. the water table is so high. It, it's it, it's it's overflowing this yeah. year, and I'm not going to disagree with you, but. No. It's crazy. It's I, crazy. When I first moved into my house about three years ago, there was a tiny little trickle of a stream next to my house. It it looks like a small river now. That's wild. It's insane. There's always water there now, like, you know, feet of water. Whereas Fuck. before, it was like a little trickle that the leaves would cover half the time. Oh, okay. I see what and you're saying. And now it's yeah, like yeah, you yeah. can actually see like a, a stream. You can actually see a stream. Oh, yeah. That's. And I'm talking all the time. I mean, look at the roads that washed out in Massachusetts and yeah. New Hampshire. I mean, it's fucking insane this year. It's crazy. The flash flooding was crazy, mm-hmm. um, which is why I brought up the Libya thing. Because when yeah. I saw that and I saw the videos and everything else, I was like, I started thinking about those fucking weapons that could yeah. vibrate stuff to destroy those dams to cause that. Because why? Because I read about 15-minute cities going up in those areas. <laughs> I, I'll tell you I this. was like, holy shit. I had two other things I'd like to talk yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, One is when you go to the market, is there a, like lots of stuff that you've noticed just hasn't been in stock? Yeah. Oh. Like tons of stuff. Tons of stuff, dude. You know, like I get friends who work at like Market Basket and stuff. I'll go talk to them and they'll be like, yeah, I don't know. There's tons of stuff that literally we're just not getting. Yep. Like we're trying to get it and sometimes they'll send it and sometimes they don't. Yep. You know, or you might get like, two boxes of a snack of some kind and you know, you won't see it again for six months. Yeah. It's just weird. It's been happening a lot a lately. Lot. A lot. A lot. Yep. Which makes you And that's up. everywhere. That's not just yeah. market basket. That's Walmart, oh, Trader yeah. Joe's, oh, yeah. Whole Foods, all of them. Oh, yeah. All of them. And what they have, the prices are skyrocketing. Oh yeah. Or the price stayed the same, yeah. but the quantity inside the package got smaller. Usually the price goes up and that happens. Dude. Yeah, oh pisses yeah. me oh off, yeah. man. I talk about this all the time. I buy Ezekiel bread. Mm-hmm. I used to be able to go one, two, three across the top, and now it's one, two. Oh yeah, everything. What the fuck? It's everything. They're hiding it in bottles. They're making what? bottles look specifically like they're supposed to, yeah. and then you cut the bottom off, and they're rounded. What blows my mind is I can go to Market Basket, which is just full of people, and the shelves are empty, mm-hmm. and I'm going, man. Can never get everything I need here, and then I like go next door. There's a Shaw's right up the street from where I live in in Plasta, and that place, every shelf is fully stocked. Yes, completely, everywhere. And every time I go there, they have one, sometimes two registers open. Whereas Market Basket will have ten. Yeah, and yet Shaw's is fully stocked. There's tons of stuff in there. Yeah, uh, I miss like, Shaw's. They took them out of Manchester. But, but here's the thing. How are they staying in business? I don't know. If there's nobody there, because the prices are always a lot higher. They are there. a lot higher, but they had a lot of stuff that a lot no, of places I, didn't yeah, have. I That's to, why I, I used like to work show. for them back, like right after high school. And That's why I, I like always shows. thought their quality was great. But the, I just can't afford to shop there all the time. Yeah, you know? yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I get it. How do they stay in business if nobody's there? I don't know. It blows my mind. That is interesting. Yeah. yeah, and then the last thing I got, it's it's gonna it's gonna be. Kind of weird. It's going to blow your mind a little bit. All right, all it's right. It's my own personal little weird conspiracy. <laughs> I've, been tr- I've been trying to flesh this one out. Since I, I bought my house, I have this one neighbor that's next to me. Yeah. And it's it's a husband and wife, both retired. And the only time I've, in three years I've ever seen them at Market Basket, the very night I moved in, 
we decided we're going to go food shopping. We had just talked to them, met them. And then they showed up there right after us. We're in line behind us, and we saw them like, going through the aisles a couple times. And then we left. Since then, for three years, I've never once run into them at Market Basket. And I've never seen them take groceries out of their car. Not once. What? Their driveway's right next to mine. I've never once seen them take any groceries out of their thing. Do you think that they order online more? Nope. No? Nope. Because I never see, they almost never get any, like, Amazon deliveries or anything like that. Never. Ever, ever, ever. Really? So, here's the other weird thing. Maybe once a month or every other month, they'll put one trash bag out front for the trash. Excuse me? Maybe once to every month or two, they'll put a bag of trash outside. Whoa. Like... So who you got living next door? <laughs> what the hell is going on over there? <laughs> like, it's just weird. That's I weird. I mean, we, you know, you got my wife and I and my son living there. So two adults and a baby. And our trash barrel is full yeah. every week. Yeah, yeah. Every, every week. week. Every week. Full. I'm not full, full, but I'm, right. I mean, every week it's out there. Every week. Every week. You yeah. Know, 100%. It's like always producing trash. In a full recycling bin, too. Yeah. You know, every two weeks. So it's like, that's how are people doing over there? Now, on top of that. Now they retired. Yeah. They'll go outside and he'll have his ride on mower going and she'll be pushing a hand mower. And they're out there for four, five hours, three times a week. What? I could fit their entire lawn in my front yard. They don't have that much lawn. Like I could do their whole lawn on a ride on mower in 45 minutes. <sighs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. These people don't go grocery shopping. They barely put out their trash, but they spend hours on their lawn. Yeah, huh. and, it, and if and if he's not mowing the lawn, he's got the leaf blower going. If two leaves hit his backyard, what? he's out there for three hours with his leaf blower. Holy shit! What makes me wonder is like, hmm. what are they? They're they're also the most antisocial people I've ever met. Like, like if you go out there and wave, yo, oh yeah, oh nothing. Yeah. Oh, nothing, nothing for three for three years. Three years now, they're just odd. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like and. Recent, like they were giving us an attitude every time we went outside, and then a new couple moved in on the other side of them. So basically, the houses next to them have been sold at least once each since I moved in. So, like you know, the people where I lived sold their house, and the people on the other side of these people sold their house because these people are so fucking weird. Like, and my wife would love to leave now. Unfortunately, rates are way too high for us to go anywhere. But not yeah. even getting into that. What kind of, like, if I said to you, okay, you're an alien or you're whatever the hell you are, a lizard person, God only knows, whatever, Mm -hmm. I want you to pretend like you are a human being that's retired. And what what do retired people do? Oh, they they, they make sure they take care of their lawn and this and that. And it's just so weird. That is weird. And like, they have a camper that's right next to my driveway kind of almost partially on my property that's, like, always there. They open it up, air it out, like, once a week. They're in and out of it. They're moving it. They're, you know, taking the top down to let it dry out if it rains and whatnot, which is all the time. And they've actually only left with it one time for two days, like, two years ago in the summer. It's never left their house since. It's, like, one time for two days it left their house. But they're always in and out of it. It's, like... Is, he is this like light a light or something? Like, is this what's like going a, on there? Is this like a pop up or a, a? No, it's like a like a trailer, like like a Winnebago. It's one that you'd hook up to your truck. You would but, hook it up, but it's like you know, a full size one, a big, a, a pretty decent sized thing. Okay, so it's like a ten or twelve footer. But it's like the only things I've ever seen them do are mow the lawn, leaf blow, and or you know, snow blow, and then mess with the trailer. It's mm. weird. That's so weird. weird. Yeah, yeah. Weird. Wow. Like I don't know. I don't know what I so, got next so door. It's creepy. What 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 are your thoughts? I like, honestly don't know. Government shill? I don't know. Russian spies? I mean, <laughs> I think that's where my wife's at. She's like she's like, I think the government sent them to spy on us. I'm like, honey, come on. <laughs> that's, that's, I, I, mean, I know I'm into the conspiracies and stuff, but Come on. Come on. I'm a I'm a, a peon. I I have no 
influence yeah, over exactly. anybody, please. Right, right. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, I may try to wake up my friends and and you know whoever's uh, hopefully smart enough to watch this podcast. But uh, you know, why would you care about what I do? I'm not doing anything important. That's I'm not insane. Doing anything to take them down. You know, I wish no. I could. I wish I had the time. And I want to know energy. what's in that trailer. It's weird. That is weird. Yeah. My wife's like, ah, oh, maybe they're like Walter White. They're, they're cooking meth in there or something. I'm like, hey, could be. But on top of that, these two people live there. They have three cars. If they were cooking meth, what? They have three cars. And one of them's like gone for like a month or two at a time, and it comes back. But it's like, what the hell are these people doing? And Whoa. Yeah, it's weird. That is weird. Like they have a tr- pickup truck, a car, and an SUV. But if they were making meth, they'd be using that thing weekly. Maybe. I don't know. It's just weird. The other thing is uh, probably three or four times they've gotten, like, a pallet delivered full of stuff. Like, a giant pallet. Like, the the first time I saw that happen, they had a new roof put on, so I'm guessing it was shingles. But since then, three or four, maybe five times, we've witnessed a giant pallet full of stuff get delivered there. And then no kind of work outside or inside. No workers coming over to do work or anything. It's like, really? what the hell's going on there? That's so weird. Like, I, I'm talking like a full size pallet, like five foot tall, wide, all that stuff. Like, what in the world do they do? It's kind of creepy, right? Yeah, that's it makes that's, sense. That's, none of it makes any sense. It's just weird. And and for me being a like I'm a people watcher. My wife oh, that's thinks the I'm, thing I do too. My my, my wife thinks I'm crazy, yeah. but I'm like you. You didn't notice that this vehicle just showed up, and all of a sudden we're missing vehicles, and then yeah. this and that, and she's like. Ah, uh, you watch too much. And I was like, I'm like, do I? Do I, I? Like to, I like I, to pay see, attention. I like to observe people. I watch body language on people and different weird things like that. Like this guy at one point last year, he got these weird sunglasses. Like, you know, like you'd see for like five bucks at a store. They yeah. have like the bright orange on the, like the things. Yes. Like, he started wearing them all summer this year. Oh, really? And like a weird hat that you get like at a truck stop. And I was like, the hell is this like totally like different weird color on the hat and like the gla- and i'm like and he's wearing this outside every day like it's a normal thing <laughs> like, he just looks weird really it's like what are you do it's like if you didn't know what normal things were and someone said hey take this wear this weird whoa it's weird people who knows maybe they're just not, they might just be wild. nuts i don't know they might be they but might be or they could be just it's just weird. What are you doing? What, yeah. are, you, what are you eating? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I mean, I see them out during the day, so I don't have vampires, but what the fuck are they? <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't know. I buy groceries every fucking week. Dude, I'm at, the, I'm at the market three, four times a week. Yeah. Every week. You know what I mean? Like, and I get Amazon packages and whatnot probably two, three times a day, it seems like. It's nuts. Yeah. But to not see that right next door, never, like the very first night we moved in, we went to go food shopping. And they were right there behind us, trying to chat us up again. Strange. That's strange. weird. Have they ever, like, popped over and no no neighborhood no. greetings or no. anything? Yeah, that shit doesn't exist anymore. I mean, it's weird. Dude, two years ago, I almost died. I was, you know, in the hospital for two weeks. Come home, um, you know, stuck in my house pretty much for a year. I mean, I went through rehab and all that other stuff. You'd think maybe you might have noticed... I mean, even when I started walking again and, like, starting to get outside and just, I mean, I would just go up and down my driveway with my wife helping me just to try to stop moving again. You think they would say anything? Or, hey, how you guys doing? What's going on? Like, you know, how you, I, I noticed you haven't left the house in quite a while. Like, you know, you weren't on a beard. Like, what's going on? Like, you all right? That, that's what a normal neighbor would do. I mean, that is a normal like, neighbor thing to do. even if I didn't like my neighbors. Yes. Like, hey, how's it going? Are you guys yeah. all right? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you guys yeah, yeah. doing anything? I wouldn't even have to like my neighbors, and I'd, I'd ask them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like in my old house that I had before, you know, I had neighbors on either side of me that, you know, we t- we oh hey, you guys all right? Anything good? Everything okay? You know, you need anything? Oh hey, how you? How's it going? Hi, how are you? At least at that, at least that. I had a neighbor across the street. Her husband owned like uh, some big Chinese restaurants and was like gone for months at a time because he owned like one in Chicago and one in New York and one in Boston. It was like never the like two thirds of the year wasn't there. It was just speculating at different families in different cities, but <laughs> he'd be gone for like a third of the year, uh, two thirds of the year. He'd only be there for like a third. So when he was gone, I used to tell the kids would play with my kids. I'd be like, hey, 
if, if your mom needs anything, if she's, you know, anything's going wrong, tell it. She can always come and ask me. I'll help her out if she needs anything. And all the time I would, I go there and help her with stuff. That's what neighbors do. Yeah. You know what I mean, you try to be neighborly. You try to be at, at least cordial. Just, hey, how's it going? Yeah. How you doing? Never had this once. These people are just weird. They, wow. and, they, and they, like, he would walk down. And I'd be like, hey, how's it going? And they'd look and he's, and he kept, like, mowing this piece of uh, lawn in between our two houses. But he was, like, throwing rocks and dirts, dirt and shit into my cars and stuff. Oh. So I went outside to try to talk to him a couple times. He literally climbed off of his lawnmower, left it running, and went in his house until I went back inside. Because he didn't want to talk to me. Weird. Yeah, dude. That's weird. Yeah. That's weird. I like, like, I got some stuff going on with my neighbors that I can't really disclose on the podcast. But, I mean, to not have any of that type of interaction period would really throw me off. Mm. And, uh, like there's, there's none of that around no. here. Uh, no, none of that. I've never even it's, 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 experienced that's that. It's creepy. Wow. It's to that level that it's now it's creepy. That is creepy. Yeah. Especially when like, you know, there's all these other things going on. It makes you question it. <laughs> <laughs> question everything. Question Look everything. Into it. Yes, <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but, uh, uh, real quick, uh, uh I wanted to bring up something really quick. Uh, have you heard about, uh, Neuralink? Oh yeah. That crazy did you, stuff. Did oh, bring back the pictures. All right. Bring back the pictures. So you're talking about, uh, uh what's Elon name? Musk. Elon, right? Where's yeah. the picture of Elon? Uh, right there. C3. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like, uh, oh. the, the, uh, there's uh, this picture, right. Where uh, he's, he's doing that. That's the Illuminati sign. Yeah, one of them, yeah. You know, it's funny if you actually... Who's uh, he sitting next to? Who's that? As a Democrat, that, that right? Netanyahu? I think I, that might be Netanyahu. I'm bad with names. He's a uh, prime minister of... Um, um, crap, what's the... Uh, Israel. Oh, okay, I th- I okay. I think that's who it is. I could be wrong. I think that's who it I is. Think you uh, might be, yeah, I think you might be like right. I think you might be right. behind him over there. But... So so they're they're doing uh they're doing the Neuralink, right? Yeah. They've been they've been testing monkeys. So as of right now, Neuralink is going to be doing human trials. Oh wonderful. Um for its uh for the brain computer interface. Mm-hmm. Um and I'm not gonna get too much into the article. There's not a uh, video or anything. Yeah. But what they wanna do is is now they wanna implant these things into humans yeah. and give them a trial run. Well, uh, uh, doing my searches and my deep diving yep. into this a little bit, all of a sudden, a new article has popped up where the monkeys that they were doing the Neuralink testing on in the beginning are all having very bad side effects from this, which, ooh, shocker. Right. Here's the thing about shocker. this Neuralink thing. There was, it, it, and it's funny that I have to bring this sh- stupid show up, but it, it was, uh, do you remember the Stargate? Show, yes. the TV show they had with yes. uh, MacGyver was in it or whatever the guy played. Yeah. Him. There was an episode in that where they went to this world where I guess like they went, went in like the world was dying and the, and the I guess the the world around them outside of like their their basically this one city it was like shrinking in on them and like making it so that less and less people could could survive oh. in, the, in the environment that was still safe. Weird. So what they were doing was. Everybody had some kind of a neural link thing. They had like a, a microchip in their brain, and there was like a central computer run by AI that would um, basically what they would have to do is, as this city kept shrinking because you know the outside world was coming in and, and slowly like almost like uh, you know playing like uh, Call of Duty or something when the world is like shrinking there and it's yep. like, you know you have to get to the middle to win or whatever. It's kind of like that. So basically, it's like. All right, well, we can only support, you know, 250 lives now, and there's 260 people. So we're going to kill 10 people, and then we're going to send a signal to basically erase them from everybody's memory. Ooh. So the 10 people never existed in your mind. It could be your wife, your friend, your, your, your son, whatever. We just killed 10 people, and now we're going to make everyone forget they ever existed. Oh, shit. So here's the thing. Um. You know, I watched that years ago, but I was like, when I first heard about Neuralink, that was my thought. It was like, if you're going to put something in your mind and say, well, oh, here's the benefit. Like, I could, you could download uh, everything about uh, karate and be a karate champion the next day, or mm-hmm. ment- mentally at least. And, and, or you could learn everything about whatever. You know, you want to learn to be a, you know, engineer. You could look, download all this engineering shit into your head. 
if that's the case, they can also take things out. They can also download whatever shit they want into your head to make you a slave, a mindless zombie, whatever the hell they want. Mm. That makes this one the probably the second scariest thing out there right now. Yeah. To me, the scariest thing is, have you noticed everybody is pushing AI now? Yes. And it's in everything? Yes. Did nobody watch Terminator? Right. Did nobody watch right. The Matrix? What the hell is wrong with you people? Did nobody see iRobot? I will have to say. any of the books? That I mean. AI has been writing my commercials, and they do a great job. <laughs> yeah. It does a great job. I'm not going to uh, lie. The problem with artificial intelligence is <laughs> they had some, uh, I know it was probably 10 years ago now, they had uh, some AI robots that were making in, I want to say it was in Japan or something, that kind of like Boston Dynamics, they were trying to get mm. like, some military use for them. Yep, yep, yep. And basically what get, it kind of got leaked out that they had these four robots that had AI in them. Like they each had their own individual AIs. And they started trying to link up uh, to the internet to find ways to rebuild themselves. Mm. Right? So like if you started shooting at them or trying to damage them, they, they were trying to find different ways to either download their consciousness to something else or rebuild themselves. And then once they did that, they tried to shut them down. And they killed 12 scientists in this lab. Thankfully, the lab was sealed, and they were able to destroy the robots. But they killed everyone inside before so, before doing so. What? Oh yeah. Where was this? Uh, Japan. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, you can look it up online. And I'm sure you can find it still somewhere. But yeah, use DuckDuckGo or something. Man, yeah. You know who owns DuckDuckGo? Well, isn't I thought it was Microsoft. Mm, yeah, Bill Gates. Yeah, Bill yeah. Gates, yeah. right? Still say. Like, it was the better search engine. It was. I don't know yeah. if there is a better one now. Yeah. Well, Duck, DuckDuckGo is yeah. the. Uh, I still use that one over Google. Yeah. Half well, of the time. Du Google is straight up just we're gonna steer you to they, mainstream media every chance we got. They suppress everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Abs the thing. You can't find stuff, and, and uh, they own YouTube, so yes, you go to YouTube and they can't find shit on there. Well, that's why my sh short got suppressed. Yep. I so know. So you go to watch this, and then all of a sudden it disappears. Go watch it on Rumble. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Go uh, Rumble. Hundred percent Rumble. Rumble's yeah. the way to go. Rumble yeah. is the way to go. It's Absolutely. just like uh, they just. Um, I watch Steven Crowder. Yeah, uh, I actually do do subscribe to Mug Club, so I watch that all the time. But he went over to Rumble. A lot of them have. It. Oh yeah, and he's getting everybody to go over there. Yeah, Do so Doctor Drew's the same way. Yeah. He brings on people that are controversial or mm -hmm. been suppressed on YouTube, yeah. and it all plays on Rumble yeah. because yeah. R Rumble is one of the only platforms right now that I know of that doesn't suppress yeah. anything. Yeah, the guy, the guy who owns it actually originally did it just to share uh, wrestling videos for his kid that was into wrestling and stuff. Um, he basically built it just so that they could share wrestling videos at different tournaments and things like that on there, and it, people wouldn't, like, try to shut them down. Yeah, there's a couple of things I don't... how it starts like that, and then it becomes, then it becomes like another, this. It's like an, a YouTube alternative. Right. right. But, but. I mean, there are still a few things that they could do with that platform mm -hmm. that would make it better. Like, I don't like the fact that, like, if you're video is over 50 minutes mm -hmm. the only quality you can get is like 320 or 480 yeah they like surprise so if you this one that comes out this on rumble mm -hmm. this will be like a 320 quality because yeah. it's over an hour so I'll they need what, to fix that if you wanted to some at some point we could get back together do a little more research and uh we could do a whole podcast just on elon musk i mean the Neuralink stuff spacex um you know, being one of the founders of PayPal, his mother was a, a famous model, yeah. and his dad was like a South African diplomat of some kind. It's a very strange upbringing and background. Yeah, and just a lot of weird shit with him. I mean, I feel I feel like like almost any subject that you can like pinpoint on, you could mm. you could almost do a full podcast on you almost could. everything. You know, I you mean, know? you know, you look at the presidential candidates now, uh, in on the Republican side, aside from Trump. Yeah, you got that. Uh, what's the Indian kid's name now? Oh I'm shit, names are yeah. bad with me. Yeah, me, me too. I'm Just bad. Too much uh, Dame Bramage. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> this guy, uh, you know, that's running. I you know, like I said, I can't think of his name off the top of my head right now. But he, um, you know, they put him on the debate and he's debating everybody. And, and basically, it's like, all right, pretend to be Trump. Like, get up there and say all the right things and everything else. Every we're gonna make everybody else look like a boob so that you can be, you know, a front runner against, yeah. against Trump. And there's a lot of weird conspiracies out there about him, you know, being at a young Democrat conference when he was younger and 
I guess he had created some company that had some kind of Alzheimer's drug, didn't do anything really good. But all of a sudden, a year ago, his stock price went from like $2 a share to $8 a share, and then he cashed out for like $15 million bucks, and all of a sudden he's running for president. It's kind of strange. And supposedly he got in college one of his uh, – um, his tuition paid for or something by some subsidiary of uh, George Soros, supposedly. Oh, shit. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But it's kind of like, hmm. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Are you trying to trick Trump into making him your VPs and then kill Trump? I mean, kind of going back to, like, what they did with Reagan. They knew Reagan was going to win. So they, they said, well, well, we'll back you, but you put George Bush as your VP. And then you try to shoot him up again six months later. Yeah, you okay. Know? Wouldn't be surprised if they tried to get somebody like him in there, you know, Man- Manchurian candidate, and then uh, take out take out Trump if he wins. Which, oh, uh, this this in, this election coming up is going to be. Yeah, I don't know. Do I don't know. Lot. If it's it's either it's yeah, it's going to be scary because I I can't imagine anyone in the world would want to vote for Biden. No, 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 no. Because even Biden. the guys, even the guys who I know that did vote for him, yeah, are like this guy sucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, w- I was one of those Economy people. Is sh- yeah. I did. Yeah. I did it. Yeah. I did it. But yeah. it's fine. I accept it, and yeah. I'll admit it. Oh, yeah. But I, would never, I won't do that again. Mm-mm. And it's like, uh, as of right now, I've been looking at a lot of the candidates that I can't remember names of, but they just... See, even even the ones that I like, there's like that... Uh, um, shit. The look, only, it, look at like, like Tulsi Gabbard. Oop. I mean... She's more like an old school Democrat. I love and, Tulsi, and I actually, I actually really like her. I like she's her somebody a lot. I would actually consider voting for. Yeah, you know, but you, you won't get the chance. No, you will not but get that's the chance. The thing. She's not controlled, right? So they don't want anything to do with her. They're not going to give her the time with the microphone and any kind of debates. They're not going to give her anything. And some of the candidates that like are running right now, yeah. it's like they're they're yeah, RFK they, Junior that they're trying to shove dude, everyone's throat. I I like him a lot. He is the thing though. I know. You know, I mean, I want to like him. Yeah. And I've heard a lot of the stuff he said, and I agree with a lot of the things he said, but then I've heard him say other things, and you just kind of go, mm. Well, that's the thing I was getting at. There's some had, of the candidates that I've been l- looking at. I'm like, oh, I like you. I like you. And then all of a sudden, you know, one of them will be like, oh, well, if you uh, unionize and strike, then you should be fired. And it's mm. like, well, no. Yeah, no. No, you shouldn't. No. That's no. that's wrong. That's all part of the negotiating. It's like, well, what yeah, are you I'm talking not, about? No. Like, and then then they say that something like that, and I'm like, oh, now I don't want to vote for you because now you're against the unions, mm-hmm. which I don't think are a, a great thing, but I don't think they're horrible either, no. and I think they're justifiable today. Yeah, they are. You know what they I really, mean? I think I think way more companies should unionize and things because people getting fucked over. I mean, if you're the owner of a company making trillions of dollars or Billions of dollars even, right? And your employees make a minimum fucking wage. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. I'm sorry. Yep. You know, if I work for a company and I'm busting my ass 60 hours a week, 80 hours a week, whatever the hell they do, and you're telling me, you know, I'm one of the cogs in this machine that's busting my ass, and you're going to tell me, all right, well, I made an extra billion dollars this year because of all these people's hard work. If you're not taking at least half of that and giving it back to your employees, the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah. You need to, you, like, they just, wealth, man. they just want to invest in themselves. They don't want to put money back into people's pockets. Again, if they did that, if they gave money back to the people, right, what would happen? People would have control over their lives. Yeah. And they wouldn't be dependent on anything but themselves. Exactly. And we can't have that today. Exactly. You cannot be dependent on yourself. You need to depend on me. So right back to the key of everything <laughs> yeah, we said exactly. today. You can give two hundred billion dollars to Ukraine, but you get the shit in East Palestine. Did they do anything to help those people? Nope. Nothing. 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 Still doing nothing. Biden didn't show up there till a week after Trump. Yep. He sent. Uh, I don't even think Biden Pete, showed up to he, Hawaii yet. He did. He, he did, did he finally show right up. The fuck out of there. Okay. Okay. But he got booed. He That's sent right. Pete Buttigieg. Uh, yeah. Buttigieg, I the hell fucking his name hate is, that yeah. guy. They sent him to Ohio, to East Palestine, the day after Trump announced he was going. Yeah. So Trump went, and then the next day he sends Pete Buttigieg, or whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> and and <laughs> Biden's too busy. But God forbid you give those people, Americans, give them some, some money and some support to help out. Or the people of Lahaina, give them money and support. Guess what? They pay fucking taxes too, man. Yep. Hell, if we're not taking care of our own country and yep. our own people, 
I agree. You know, you got uh, all up. these cities full of homeless people, and there's way more homeless people than you think. Oh, there's three this times is, listen, as much at least as today. At least. Let me tell you, when I first got on uh, the fire department in Methuen, like 17 years ago now, getting old, right? There, there was like, you know, at least 500 homeless people in Methuen, and you would never have thought it. Like I could tell you where all of them were living. There was some that were on some train tracks in a certain area, and there was some other people in the woods in different parts of town. It's like people just you know put the blinders on. They don't want to know what's going on. Yeah. But now you're starting to see it's so bad that like you got cities like New York and you got like uh, you know out in the West Coast in California, you got all these cities that are just full of them. This tent cities built popping up on the sidewalks. Everybody people taking crap. How in the street, many times have they stuff. moved the homeless in oh, yeah. Manchester alone? Oh yeah. Manchester is not a big city. No. Manchester is actually one of the smaller cities, mm -hmm. and they have moved them seven times now. Oh, probably way more than that. You just okay? Heard so about I it. haven't heard about it, no. but the seven that I've heard of, they knock down those tent cities of all these people and they make them go somewhere else. Boston, same thing. Yeah, they've relocated them a couple you know what times. Kind of reminds now. me of. Remember the beginning of uh, They Live? You ever seen that movie? I have seen that movie. I just yeah. You had Roddy Ruddy Piper. Okay, and he yeah. He was kind of like getting some work as a construction worker and this and that, and he's staying in this homeless uh, encampment, whatever. And what do they do in the middle of the night? They came up with bulldozers and started bulldozing yes, the encampment. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. I do remember that now. Yes. Yeah. And it turns out everybody was aliens, and he had these special glasses to see them to find out what they really were, you know? Yeah. The funny thing is when he died at, like, 52, right before he died, he said uh, he was on a podcast, and, and he said that was actually a, a documentary. That's kind of what's really going on with this world. <laughs> That's fucking weird, wild. right? Yeah. That was in wicked good shape. He was really lean and stuff for you know, guy in his in his fifties somehow dies of a massive heart attack right after saying some weird shit like that. It's like hmm. Yeah. Probably the most underrated B movie of all it's, time. It's it's weird how people who stick their neck out and say things that go against the grain mm -hmm. all of a sudden disappear somehow, some way. Weird? It doesn't matter who you are. No, it doesn't matter who well, you like, are. Like uh I remember Prince. Yep. Prince came out and was talking about the Illuminati and stuff and how they control everything. And then all Dies of a sudden a he later. died from fentanyl. Yeah, a week later. Yeah. Done. Done. And it's always like about a week later, too. Yeah. I've noticed that, too. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it, there is patterns to all of this. You just oh. have to pay attention to them. Um, who was that guy there that uh, was hiding out at the embassy in England for a long time that uh, was... Oh, the guy, wait a minute. Are you talking about the one that got chopped up and put no, into no, a no. suitcase? The guy, the, no, the, okay. guy, the guy who had the um, the news media outlet that every, like when Bush, when he was talking about Bush in 9 11, they okay. all loved him. And then um, he started talking about the Democrat Party and, and emails and stuff. And they, they was starting to blame Russia for their thing. Oh. And it was, um, oh my God, I can't remember his name. But, anyways, basically, it was actually a leaker. And the guy who was leaking the information to him, Basically saying that the Democratic Party was, you know, doing all kinds of bad, sh bad shit and whatever. They were saying that uh, this guy had to be arrested because the Russians were, you know, hacking into their emails and shit. And really, it was this guy was a whistleblower, giving them the info. And right after the they released something about it, this guy got robbed and murdered in D.C. And when he got robbed and murdered. They didn't take his watch, his Oh, jewelry. I did hear about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I I've talked to you about it before. It was, wasn't that the the guy that He was made, working for the DNC. Yeah, but didn't he make WhatsApp or something? No. Oh, wasn't the CEO no. of WhatsApp? Because no. that kind of happened to him, too. Really? He, I believe he was robbed, supposedly, and murdered, and... But they didn't take anything. They didn't take anything. Yeah. Just straight up murder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. that is just yeah. straight up yeah. murder. And this Crazy. shit happens all the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. This is happening Strangely around us. Strangely, it happens a lot when you do something or say something against a certain cigar smoking president and uh, wife. <laughs> <laughs> that really love Haiti. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's terrible, people. It's, it is terrible. It is terrible. Yeah. But, man, you know, if, uh, if we're not questioning it, I don't think we're doing our due diligence. Absolutely. You Tell know? You question everything. Look into it. Yes. Figure out what's uh what's going on out there. Yeah. Don't let them yeah. lie to you. No, don't. You know. Don't. I mean, there's a lot of bullshit on the internet. I think a lot of it's just disinformation to keep uh everybody's head spinning. But uh, hey, if you if if something just doesn't feel right for you, 
Look into it. Yeah. Figure out, dig into it. See what's going on. If you think something's weird about a certain thing or you hear something, start looking at those patents. See who's got the patents on certain things. And and then you hear them talking on the news about certain shit. And you wonder, you go, well, if he really does have all these patents on this, that would explain why he's doing all this stuff and talking about all this stuff. Creepy. That is creepy. Holy shit. All right. right, Well, Miguel, thank you so much for coming back on the podcast. I really appreciate it, man. This has been so much fun. Um, And on that note, everybody, I hope you enjoy your Thursday. Enjoy your weekend. And as always, I will talk to you later.